this is Bob Brown. He's the owner of the Sateen Alpaca Farm, and he's a harvest host. And this is Sandy, and Sandy is another harvest host guest. So she came in last night, and uh, my dog died. Um, <laughs> okay, start you. all over now. What is it? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> so we're here with Bob Brown. He's the owner of the Satine Alpaca Farm, and he's a harvest host. And this is Sandy, she's a harvest host guest. She came in last night, and she has agreed to let us do a van tour of her cute little van. So I'm gonna let you, um, Sandy, tell us about your van. Sure. And, um, you know, let me know what what I should need to film in there. So. Okay. So this um, is a Nissan small delivery van that has been uplifted by Recon Campers. Recon Envy is the name of the company. Mm -hmm. And so you buy the little um, van and you give it to them and then they um, make it into a little camper van. Yeah. So this is a very small van. It gets about 27 miles to the gallon and it fits in, easily fits in a garage, fits in a parking space and you can add on whatever you want to. So on the inside, um, there's a bed. This is a back seat. It actually can sit two people. It has seat belts. So grandkids can sit back here. Yeah. And then the bed folds out to here. So when you're in this van at night, you have a bed. You can't do it's, anything it's else. It's all bed. <laughs> um, I, I uh, use a carry a porta potty so okay. I can stop anywhere I want to. Yeah. And Harvest Host requires that you are self-contained. Uh -huh. So yeah, but the van has. So a, you had you had to take out your um, passenger seat. No, it's just push forward. Oh really? Oh, so wow, and, it goes so really far out. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> so there's just enough room for me to stand at the end of the bed and swivel around to use the porta potty in the middle of the night, like most old ladies need to do. Yeah. So, so I, guess, I guess all your little kitchen area was yeah. was part of the. Uh, so yeah. So there's a refrigerator. Uh huh. And a how water is, system. How big is it? It's pretty big. It's got a little freezer in the top. Yeah. Oh, it's so cute. <laughs> yeah. So, oh, and you have a freezer too. Yeah, there's a little freezer and it actually does freeze. Mm -hmm. And then it has a water system, um, which I have. Uh, it's still, I have, still have it winterized. You have to winterize these vans because there's no insulation underneath. Mm-hmm. So it's still winterized, so I can't use it. Oh, okay. Because I knew I would be in the cold still this time of yeah, year. Yeah. And it has storage over there, storage under here, storage in the back. This is a pop top, and the pop top goes up, and you can sleep two people up there. Um, there's a seven foot standing room right here when that pop top's up, and it oh, opens up. So, so that's a little loft there that turns yeah. into a bed. And then this just folds down to make a bed. Oh, how cool. But in the summer, I put that pop top up and open it up, and then I have the night sky right in my living room. And uh, do you have storage back there where your this um, little slide thing's a storage, and on the back, when you open that back door, there's a little storage there. Yeah. And there's a it, this runs on a lithium ion battery that's charged when you drive by the alternator, or I have a solar panel. Oh, how big's so, your solar panel? I don't know. It's about that big. <laughs> <laughs> it's big enough to fit on your roof. Yeah. <laughs> And I can be off gr off grid for five days. So yeah. As long as I have sun, I can be off grid for five days. Yeah, so, that's great. Yeah. And um, I I don't I've never plugged in anywhere because I've never needed to, and you have to use appliances that are a thousand watts or less. But I have a little uh, coffee pot. I have a little rice maker. I have a cool thing called a bond bowl. If you're a single person, a bond bowl is the best thing in the world what, to have. What is what is that? Bond bowl. I'll show it to you. Okay. It's a it's a way to cook things, and it uh, uses not very much electricity. Okay. Well, let's then, see it. Yeah. <laughs> sure. Bob, you can ask the questions too. Uh, how are you 
doing fine. <laughs> uh, you did a lot in this little van. It's, it's, I mean, it, you got everything you needed. Here. So my bond bowl, this is a great thing. It uh, has a silver bowl with a silicon. You sit it on there and you turn on high, medium, or low and how many minutes you want to cook it. You cook anything in here. You can fry an egg. You can. I warmed my no soup kidding. up last night. The guy who invented these is uh, invented up for college students and found out a lot of old people like it. Because you just sit it on your counter and then, you know, it's kind of an induction type cooking. Uh -huh. But you can cook anything in it. It's, that's that's perfect for this little van. It's perfect for the van and I actually I have a housemate and she lives in my basement and I bought one for her and she uses it all the time. That's cool. So, I have never heard of such a thing. I'm going to check that out. B-O-N, Bond Bowl. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They, they, they're on sale, usually in December, for half price. Yeah. So, so this this little van uh, probably gets really good gas mileage. 27. 27, wow. Yeah. I wish mine got that good. Yeah. I noticed you got these straps on the outside. Is that to tie your awning down? Yeah. What, yeah. what is it? Little things here to tie So this, this is where the awning goes? So oh, that, when, is it like this one here? Yeah, the awning, the awning sits in that if you want to slant it, or you can put it out straight because it has legs. Yeah. But the challenge with this awning is it's only a sun awning, and I live in Washington State. We have a lot of rain, Yeah. so it doesn't work. So I actually have a different type of, uh, it's like a tent awning that I actually tie onto it yeah. um, and use all the time. But when I'm just staying one night, I usually don't set that up. Yeah, what's, what's this? So this is a so. table. So I have a little table. Oh, let's see that. that if it's not too much trouble. <laughs> it's, uh, we're, put, we're putting you to work, Sandy. <laughs> Hold on. Everything's really compact in here. <laughs> chair so this is my chair oh that I need that my chair is really big <laughs> yeah they're really comfortable I mean yeah. they uh, What's it called? it's a G4 free? G4 free okay and they're I'll have to check that out yeah too. so it, it's easy to use and I don't know how to get the table out of here because I never use it well, you have a anyway. tiny van, so you have to have tiny functional yes. things. <laughs> yeah. You got a lot in that van, though. I mean, you, you got your porta potty, your bed, you, you got where you can sleep on top, you can open it up, go yeah. on in. And there are people, there are a couple of people that are living in these vans. Now, I don't know how they do that because I have way too much stuff, mm -hmm. but they, uh, yeah. I have not seen this particular van on YouTube, but I, I do follow a couple of people that that live in little minivans, yeah. and they're happy as can climb. Yeah. <laughs> I think it's I, it's a little too small for me. I, if you had about another foot, so you had a little more space when you're when the bed's out, mm -hmm. and the seats don't rotate because of the airbag airbag configuration, uh -oh. which would be that's another thing that would be very nice is yeah. to have the seats rotate back yeah it gives you a lot more space yeah, yeah. does this company still make them I no guess. so uh, Nissan quit making these vans in 22 and all of the other van makers that made these little tiny vans stopped making them in 23 what why is that because they thought they would all go to electric oh uh, but nobody has yeah. so you can find these vans uh, for sale often because, you know, a lot of people buy them, they use them for a year, they never use them. Mm -hmm. and uh, Or just decide it's not for them. Yeah. yeah. So you can just look up, you know, Recon MV on uh, Google mm -hmm. and you'll find them for sale. Okay. And they, they sell anywhere from 55 to 65,000 okay. typically. So does this company that did your um, conversion or whatever right. you call it, your custom build, yep, the did they do other types of vans nope. also? this was it. So oh, that's it? He thought he would switch to a different van and then found out that nobody else was gonna make the other vans. Mm -hmm. And so now he's still deciding. I think he's, I think he's working on a camper. Mm -hmm. So, but the gentleman who created this company 
lived in a VW bus for several years and then on a boat. And so all of the components and everything are marine grade. Marine, that's good. So they're yeah. really good quality. Most of them, like this fridge is from Sweden, you know, I mean, really, but you have to, you have to insure it as an RV. Otherwise, if you're in an accident, none of this back end is insured. In that's the shower the shower really yeah but well, let's see it so how does it work oh so you plug so you in your hose here there. yeah and then you can stand here and shower in the middle of nowhere yeah, and then you could if you needed privacy you could probably hang a yeah curtain. you could hang a little curtain yeah. or something and then well, there's some more storage back here oh so, well yeah. how about that that's this is really cute Bug screens, it comes with a bug screen back here. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I and see it there. bug screens for the two front windows, but the two side doors didn't have bug screens. There was the woman who it was is Chinese and found a family member in China to make the bug screens. So I bought the extra bug screens. I've yeah. only used them once. Yeah, I, um, I've used mine once also. Yeah, but it's, uh, yeah. And then all the windows have these insulated uh, and I have them for all around but unless I absolutely have to put them up I don't I don't care if somebody looks at my van when I'm sleeping I don't care <laughs> so and people say traveling singly as a woman aren't you afraid isn't it scary no yeah so you have I'm, to choose to not be afraid right so that's yeah I mean you have to use common sense you know right. and follow your intuition yeah. about where you park yeah. but I, I have never been afraid where I stay yeah and harvest toast that's one of the reasons i really like harvest toast is it's very safe yes for a female traveling by themselves yeah. and you get to meet amazing people like bob i know so, yeah I know. he's a great guy yeah yeah he's my new best friend yeah <laughs> it's a good thing all right thank okay. you thank you